Morning, all. All right, so we've got eight games tonight in the National Hockey League. The busiest regular season night for the rest of the regular season, which ends in two days. Uh, so we got eight games tonight, four games tomorrow, six games on Thursday, and then that's it. It's done. We've got uh, four games starting at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, one and a half an hour later, one and a half an hour later, and then two 7 o'clock starts or 10 o'clock starts, depending on whether you're East Coast or West Coast. So starting at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, the Boston Bruins host the Ottawa Senators. Boston's won the first two meetings. Uh, January 25th, 3-2 to two in overtime. March 19th, 6-2 to two win for Boston. And for Boston, it's pretty simple. A win clinches the Atlantic. They can also clinch if they get a point, and Florida doesn't get any points tonight. But at any rate, uh, for the Sens, 36-41-4, and four, I think if, if Florida gets a point, they still, yeah, anyways... Uh, for the Sens, 36-41-4 and four overall. Kachuk, 16 games, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points. He's ending the season pretty strong. So, uh, for Kachuk, the last month has been alright. Batherson as well, 16 games, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. Kubalik still stands out as a player that probably isn't back next year. Uh, 12 games, just the one goal. He just has not been productive with the Sens. On the Boston side of things, 47-19-15 and 15 is their record. They're one point clear of Florida. Uh, Pasternak, their leading scorer over the last month, 12 games, 6 goals, 7 assists, 13 points. Zaka's second on the list, 12 games, 3 goals, 9 assists, 12 points. Wanted to highlight DeBrusk a bit, player that they need to get going going into the playoffs, 12 games, 2 goals, 2 assists, 4 points. Scoring is going to be a question mark for me with the Bruins in the playoffs, but hey, here we go. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Canes and the Blue Jackets. The Canes have won the first three meetings, they're looking for a season sweep. But there's nothing on the line in this game. So one thing I keep an eye on that last week is the games that have something on the line I pay a little more attention to. They're normally more intense as well, for obvious reasons. So November 26th, Carolina won 3-2. February 29th, Carolina wins 4-2. And April 7th, a 3-0 win. The Canes are 52-27-7 on the season. Jake Gensel's been their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, 8 goals, 14 assists, 22 points. Aho, 14 games, 9 goals, 9 assists, 18 points. Kuznetsov. A player that I think they're looking to for some scoring in the playoffs over the last month. Just a goal and four assists, five points in 14 games. And because of last night's games, it's confirmed they're playing the Islanders. They have home ice advantage. Round one, Canes and Islanders. Didn't we have them in first round last year as well? All right. Uh, for Columbus, 26-43-12 and 12 is their overall record. warensky has been their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, five goals, eight assists, 13 points. Marchenko's second on the list. So for every team, I've got their top two scorers over the last month, and then just a player I wanted to talk a bit about. Marchenko, 14 games, 6 goals, 3 assists, 9 points. Cole Sillinger had a, a bounce-back year, but still probably not where he wants to be. Uh, Scoring-wise, 14 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points. So definitely better than last season for Sillinger, but not quite at a level where I think he'd be happy. Uh, Detroit's in Montreal tonight. That starts at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Detroit's won two of the first three, and these games all go to overtime. 3-2 uh, to two overtime Montreal, November 9th, December 2nd. 5-4 to four overtime Detroit, and last night, 5-4 to four overtime for Detroit as well. So for the Wings, they're 40-32-9. They're tied with Washington. They need Washington to lose to Philadelphia, and then they need to beat the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Raymond, 14 games, 11 goals, 5 assists, 16 points, is having himself quite the run. Uh, this has been really just this one of those defining career things we're looking at here, I think. Uh, Larkin, like he's just hit that next level. Larkin, 12 games, 7 goals, 7 assists, 14 points. Edvinson, still looking for some offense there, but I think he's played well. Uh, just the one goal in 13 games. And I've seen people saying, oh, if, if this doesn't work, if they don't make the playoffs, it shows that the Iser plan has failed. No, it doesn't. Uh, Detroit's better this year than last year. And uh, as I said, Raymond's taken that next step. Larkin looks fantastic. Uh, Kane's fit right in. There's a lot of reason to think that if they keep most of this band together next year and add a couple, this team could be very dangerous. Montreal's 30, 36, and 15. Matheson, their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, 2 goals, 13 assists, 15 points. Uh, Suzuki, 14 games, 7 goals, 6 assists, 13 points for him. Lane Hudson had a pretty good debut. One assist uh, in that game last night. He was a minus one as well. Uh, we'll see how things go tonight. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Capitals and the Flyers. So the Flyers need to win this game. And they need both uh, the Capitals. Well, they're playing the Capitals. So they need to beat the Capitals. And they need Detroit to lose in regulation against Montreal. 
And even then, Pittsburgh's got a game left, right? So things get a little dodgy for Philadelphia to make it. But anyways, they split the first two meetings. Uh, December 14th, a shootout victory for Philadelphia, 4-3. to March the 1st, it was a 5-2 to win for the Caps. Uh, the Caps are 39-31-11. and 11. They're tied with Detroit. But as I said, win and they're in. The Capitals win, they're in. I'm wearing Capitals because I, I think they get it done. And then they're against the Rangers, which is going to be interesting if that happens because the Rangers play a pretty opposite style of hockey to the Capitals. Um, the Caps' uh, leading scorer over the last month is Dylan Strom, 15 games, 5 goals, 11 assists, 16 points. Ovechkin, 15 games, 11 goals, 3 assists, 14 points. Uh, McMichael. Uh, it feels like it could be a big playoff for McMichael. 15 games, 4 goals, 2 assists, 6 points. Very good player. The The totals don't really show just how good he's been. On the Philadelphia side, 38, 32, and 11 is their record. They're two points back of Washington and Detroit, as I stated, and they need a lot of help to make the playoffs, but they can help themselves if they win this game tonight. Connect neither leading score over the last month. 13 games, 6 goals, 4 assists, 10 points. Tippett, 13 games, 4 goals, 6 assists for 10 points. Uh, Farabee, they need something out of Farabee here. 13 games, 1 goal, 1 assist, 2 points. Uh, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific start. Uh, the Florida Panthers hosting Toronto Maple Leafs. What's interesting is, now just thinking about it, if Ottawa beats Boston, would Toronto be better off playing Boston or playing Florida? Because they kind of have a say. If they lose to Florida and then Ottawa beats Boston, then Toronto gets Boston. If they beat Florida, then they're basically guaranteeing they face Florida in the first round. So it be interesting to see what happens here. Uh, October 19th, a 3-1 to win for the Panthers. November 28th, a 2-1 to shootout victory for Toronto. And most recently, April the 1st, a 6-4 to win for the Leafs. The Leafs are 46-24-10 and 10 overall. Uh, Matthews, their leading score over the last month, 14 games, 14 goals, 11 assists, 25 points. He's, of course, on the edge of 70. We saw last night Panarin get to 49. He did not get to 50. Will Matthews get to 70? Uh, Tavares, 14 games, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. Definitely heating up at the right time. Uh, Marner's been very good in his return from injury. 5 games, 1 goal, 7 assists, 8 points. On the Florida side, they're 51, 24, and 6. As stated, they're 1 point back of Boston, so they need Boston to lose. And they need to win this one, and they can claim the division for themselves. Reinhardt, 13 games, 7 goals, 6 assists, 13 points. Has been their leading scorer over the last month. Barkov's been excellent as well. 10 games, 5 goals, 7 assists, 12 points. Sam Bennett, playoff hockey, Sam Bennett, those two meet up. Uh, 13 games, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points. I think Bennett plays his best hockey in the playoffs. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific start between the Kraken and the Jets. Uh, the Jets, with 1 point, can clinch second spot and home ice advantage against Colorado Avalanche. Seattle won the first matchup March the 5th by a score of 4-3. to three. March the 8th, the Jets won 3 nothing. Uh, Seattle 33, 34, and 13 on the season. Veneers, their leading score over the last month, 14 games, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points. Bjorkstrand, 14 games, 2 goals, 7 assists for 9 points. And Tolvanen, not quite the, the breakthrough year that I think they'd hoped for after last year was a very good year. Uh, 14 games, 1 goal, 6 assists, 7 points for Tolvanen. Uh, Winnipeg, 50, 24, and 6 overall. Again, 1 point clear of Colorado. They just need 1 point here to guarantee themselves home ice in the first round. Monaghan's been their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points. Kyle Connor, 14 games, 4 goals, 9 assists, 13 points. Velarde is the one I wanted to highlight here. 5 goals in 7 games when he plays. What he does is score goals. And um, they could use some of those tonight. So we'll see how that one goes. 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 Pacific, Chicago and Vegas. So for Vegas, they have a couple of relatively easy games on their schedule from here. If they win them both... They get, to, they get third place in the division. So Chicago has beaten Vegas uh, in the most recent matchup, but that was quite some time ago. October 21st, a 5-3 win for Vegas. October 27th, a 4-3 overtime win for the Hawks. Chicago's 23-52-5 overall. Kurashev, their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points. Bedard, second on the list, 13 games, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points. Vlasic, I wanted to highlight because I think Alex Vlasic is going to be a, a really good defenseman for them. Uh, two assists in 13 games over the last month. I don't know if the offense is ever going to match up with his overall game, but yeah, kid's a keeper. Uh, Vegas 44-28-8 overall. Again, they're one point back of the LA Kings. Uh, Eichel, their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, 10 goals, 6 assists, 16 points. William Carlson, 14 games, 7 goals, 7 assists, 14 points. 
and Hurdle. Four games, two goals with one assist for three points. Uh, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between Calgary and Vancouver. Vancouver just needs one point to clinch the Pacific Division. See if they get there tonight. The Flames won November 16th by a score of 5-2. to two. The Canucks won December 2nd by a score of 4-3. to three. And March the 23rd, Vancouver won 4-2. to two. Uh, the Flames are 37-38-5. Kuzmenko's been their leading scorer over the last month. 13 games, 9 goals, 7 assists, 16 points. And I think he's going to get a really warm welcome from the fans uh, in this this trip from Calgary to Vancouver for tonight. Fans generally generally really like Kuzmenko. Uh, Kadri, 13 games, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. Backlund, just 2 assists in 13 games over the last month for Backlund. Vancouver, 49, 22, and 9 overall. They are three points clear of Edmonton. They just need one point here, as I said. Uh, JT Miller, 12 games, 3 goals, 12 assists, 15 points. Their leading score over the last month. Uh, Quinn Hughes, 12 games, 4 goals, 10 assists, 14 points. And at this point, I don't think there's any doubt about him winning the Norris Trophy. Uh, Lindholm, 5 games since returning from injury. 1, game, one goal, 2 assists, 3 points. I think Lindholm's done alright playing for them on the third line since coming back. And so we'll see how he does against his former teammates from Calgary in this one. Let me know your thoughts and your winners in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.